Welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm gonna give my quick take on Remember. Uh, it's a Korean film. But before I do that, let me just give you the synopsis and this comes from AMC. Uh, Pilju, I'm gonna butcher these names, uh, a retired soldier of his 80s with dementia, goes in search of the people he believes to be responsible for the death of his family in the past. With five names tattooed on, his, on the fingers and pieces of his collapse and memories, Pilju tracks down his target and kill them one by one. A young innocent guy in Gayu unintentionally gets involved in his revenge and eventually becomes the prime suspect of the murder that Pilju committed. To prove his innocence and to stop this old man's rush, in Gairo can't help but accompanying Pilju's revenge journey. Yet Pilju's plan comes closer to an end, leaving one last person to execute. Before his memory is completely gone, can Pilju get his li lifetime revenge done? So as I mentioned, this is a Korean film, and what it, honestly what it reminds me is uh, something that, like uh, uh, a film that um, Liam Neeson would be in. It's just that uh, it's just that the latest ones that he's done haven't been very good, and I actually like this one. This one, uh, I enjoyed this one. The, the story was pretty good. Uh, it's basically uh, like it says there. He's a. Uh, it's an eighty-year-old guy. I mean, I'm. I'm pretty sure the actor's not that old. Uh, but it's an eighty-year-old guy just kicking ass. That's basically what he's doing. He's he's looking out for revenge. So that's why it kind of reminds me like a, a like a Liam Neeson type of movie. But the but this one was was pretty good, and uh, I enjoyed the story behind it. Uh, it had a it had emotions and. A lot of emotion and a lot of heart to it that I enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I really, I really liked it. Um, so basically, what the movie is about is um, he's seeking revenge for the people that he considers to be responsible for his family dying, his father being uh, killed, his mother dying. Or just, I think they described in the movie she would kind of went crazy after the husband was killed, and then um, I think his brother. So he's the eighty year old guy, and, so, and then I think his little brother died in a mine, and his sister committed suicide. So all of that happened in his past when the Japanese occupied Korea. That's what this the backstory is. So he's seeking revenge on all the the people. So it's a uh, so I think it was so it's five names. Uh, I believe four of them are Korean sympathizers with with ja the Japanese, and uh, the one Japanese person is like a, the he was like the like one of the leaders in in that um, in that town that he was in, right? So he's seeking uh, revenge on one Japanese person. I think the other ones are just Korean, but they're all Korean uh, sympathizers of, of the Japanese at the time. And so what he's doing, and the reason he's, he's, he's doing it in his 80s is because, as they described in the movie, he, he was going to do it sooner. But when he found out that his wife uh, was pregnant, he told himself, okay, now I have responsibilities. Now I have to take care of my family. So he set out to put out, you know, uh, set aside his revenge until his family was, uh, basically the kids were, were, were grown and had their, their, you know, their own lives. And, and basically what happened was his wife died. Uh, and, and now he has... Now that now that's his time now to to uh, seek revenge. So what we see of him, he's working at a TGI Fridays, and but he's like it says there, he has dementia. So he's his memory keeps going in and out. Uh, but when he snaps back into reality is when he uh, sees images of his of his sister and his family, and so that brings him back and and it, and it. Puts him back into focus of seeking revenge. So what he does is uh, he he uh, hires one of the because he's like a server at TGI Fridays and, and he has a really uh, a friend that's in like in his twenties that's also a server there a young guy 
And he told them, like, hey, you know, can you drive me around for a week? Uh, and so the guy decides to do it. and But he tells them, like, you know, just whatever I tell you to do, do it, you know. So the first stop was at a hospital uh, where this, I think he's the, this Korean guy was staying at. And um, so that's his first target, this guy at the hospital. And he told the young kid, like, hey, stay in the car. Don't call me. I'm going to call you. Don't look for me. Uh, it doesn't matter how long I take. Just don't come looking for me. But, of course, he does, right? Because after, like, five hours, hasn't heard anything from the from from the old man. So he goes looking for him. He's worried about him. So that happens. And so he's been trying to, like, and the hospital he was very careful not to be seen by the cameras. And uh, so he ends up killing the guy he's uh, he went after. But because it was late at night, there wasn't anybody there. There's footage of the young kid, even though he had a hoodie on and and a, a baseball cap. You, the, there's like a there's just footage of 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 of, of a young man walking. So he, now that person's the suspect, right? And he's like, "What the hell?" And so then, uh, but he still continues to drive around the old man. And so the next uh, target is this guy that's doing like a book tour. And, and so uh, when he goes to kill the guy at, at the, the guy's uh, house, the young man uh, shows up at the scene because he hears uh, gunfire and he sees that he's standing over the, the, the person that just died. Right, so he's like, "What the, what the hell?" That's when he's like, "What am I doing? What the, what's going on?" And so he kind of tries to explain to the young man what's happening, but the young man's like, "No, this is still, you know, you can't do this. You can't just kill people, right?" And so that's basically how it keeps going, and uh, so there's a lot to it, um, but uh, but essentially they stay together, and uh, even though the young man doesn't agree with it, he's still he's still friends with him. He's still friends with the old man, and 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 he, and because he does have dementia, he doesn't want to just leave him alone either just leave him out there by himself so basically he he basically gets revenge on on everyone on on the list so he tattoos like it says there he tattoos the names that way he doesn't forget and i think on on so it's like uh i think on one of the fingers it says kill and then it says the names right so then the last name is uh it's another it's actually another japanese i said i said uh, i previously said it was only one japanese but it's actually two japanese names on his fingers but what we end up finding out the last japanese name it's actually his because he was all he also became um uh, a korean sympathizer with the japanese so he also joined the uh the uh one of the japanese regiments there in in the town and that's one of the reasons why uh, his his uh, his sister committed suicide. Because his sister was like, what are you doing? You know what they did to me? Because what, what happened was they, in that town, they promised the women a job at a factory. But in reality, what they were doing is, uh, I forgot the name that they used. The, the, what they were doing is giving away the women for the Japanese soldiers. You know, right for sex, uh, I forgot the way they. There's a certain term I just don't remember the term they used in the movie, but that's what she was. That's what they they did. They tricked the women, saying, "Oh, you're gonna like I said, go work at a factory." But they were actually just you know for the soldiers, and so she when when she saw her uh him the younger version, like hey he's wearing the uh, Japanese uh, um uniform. She's like, well, how can you do that? You know what they've done to me. And he's like, and then he lashed out at her. He's like, look, you know, we, you know, everyone has to, we have to move on. We have to survive. And I can't, you know, I, I, I can't think of the, the past and I can't, I mean, I can't think of you. I can't worry about you. I, I, you know, seeing all these things, right. And, and very emotional scene, very emotional scene. And so he blames himself for his uh, his uh, his sister committing suicide, and so that's the last person he's gonna he's gonna kill is himself. So he has the gun to his head, but the young man uh, tells him 
Because at that point in the movie, he's surrounded by the, like a SWAT team and all this stuff. Because he, he killed, uh, the last person he killed was in, was in, was in public. Uh, was at a statue unveiling of, the, of that person that he killed. Uh, but that person that he killed before uh, he died, before he pulled the trigger to, to kill that guy, he, he made him um, basically reveal the truth, right? And so, so when the young man arrived and, and he's holding the, the gun to his head, he tells him, look, man, you're taking the cowardly way. Uh, you keep saying that these guys should be punished. Well, it's the same for you. You, you, uh, you know, eventually you are going to die, but you should stand trial. You should tell the, uh, you know, you should tell the public what, what, what happened and, and, you know, pay for, for what you've done. And so he puts the gun down, he does. And, um, and the next, and when we next see him, he's in jail. So he's in prison. Um, and then the young man visits, visits him and stuff like that. So, so it's a, it's a, it's actually like a really good, like I said, it's a good film. Um, it's a it's a, it has a a good story behind it. It has a lot of uh, emotions and 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 it gets to you, man. At the end, when uh, especially when he's when he when he was talking to his his sister, uh, when he's remembering uh, talking to his sister, it's very emotional. And I almost cheered up a little bit, but I didn't. I was strong. I was strong. I was a strong boy. <laughs> uh, I don't mind crying. I don't care. Uh, but I, you know, uh, but it was uh, it was an emotional scene, and I enjoyed it. And you know, I I I do recommend this movie if it's playing near you. I would say you know check it out. It's pretty good. I liked it. Uh, it has a lot of good action scenes. And like I said, it's it's like a like a Liam Liam Neeson type movie, but. Just a little bit better, you know, because the last ones he, like I said, he, the last ones he's been doing haven't been pretty good, but this one's good, and I and I wonder if they could ever like, um, you know, change the story a little bit because this is very, uh, Korean centric with the Japanese, uh, uh, and and the Korea, uh, that that era. So I'm sure they can take some of the the plots and and kind of switch it a little bit. But still keep the um, integrity of it, the the emotions behind it. So I think that would pre- be pretty good for him, for Liam. But uh, yeah, but I would say you know check it out. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, and if you enjoyed the content of this channel, you know feel free to subscribe because that would really help me grow. And uh, thank you for watching. And see you in the next one.